Hello fellow students, welcome back to study buddy. In our previous lessons, we were looking on GCC maths percentage of change. We were able to look into understand what are percentages. Then we looked into saying like how we can calculate them. How can we calculate a percentage? And we were looking at word questions of if we have the percentage, how can we find the final value? In today's lesson is that what we're going to do is that we are trying to focus on a real life examples here where we're going to be focusing on sales prices and VAT. And then the reason that I want to do this is because, you know, it will going to create you a very sense of understanding why do we need percentages in real life. Because for me, when I am trying to learn something, I always realize that having some real life example will make things even much better for me. It is easier for me to understand. It is easier for me to remember. So I would like to provide you some examples on this. Okay. And then VAT stands for, let me just make this clear again, because we shouldn't talk about the subject without knowing what is that. VAT is just basically value added tax. Okay. This is going to be everywhere when you're going to, you know, when you, while you are growing up, while you are working, it is going to be a big part of your life. And this is how the government literally stabilizes the, you know, the services that we can provide to us. This is something that will be around everywhere. So when we are giving the sale price of VAT, yeah, and the VAT rate. So think like this. If I'm going to sell you something for 100 pounds. And then you can be like, what is this, you know, uh, tax included or tax not included? Because if the tax is including, it is going to be the value of the device is going to be less than 100. The tax is going to be 100. But if the value of the device is 100 and the tax is not included, the price will increase. So you see the differences that that will be the thing that we will be looking into it, how we can calculate these values. OK, so it is just basically as in that question that we can find the original price that we need to use the formula again. Now in this part, what we know is that we know the final value again. We are trying to find the initial value. Okay, that that, that will be the combination of those things together. And I already put the uh, pictures again you know, for our uh, exams here, for our lesson here that we have all the uh, you know questions written. So we can easily look into them. Like, because you know, that was the idea that I came up with to make it much more interesting rather than just me, you know, uh, Following. So in this case, what we're going to do is that it says you that an item is on sale for 80 pounds. Okay. And the what rate is 20 percentage. What was the original before, before the sales and what? Okay. So let's just check into, check into here. Our final value as we define here is 80 pounds. Okay. And our percentage of change that we were able to write in our previous formulas is going to be 20 percentage. Okay. Do not forget that basically 20 here, delete the 20 percentage. And then we are trying to find the original price before the sales slot. So what did I tell you previously? If our initial value is X, what you can do is that you can say X, yeah, multiplied by one plus percentage of change, yeah, divided by 100, is going to be equal to your final value, yeah, because this was your initial value. But the thing that we are trying to understand is that if our percentage of change is actually plus or negative, does it increase or does it decrease? That's the most important part. OK, so when you are looking into this, you need to realize that this will be a positive. This is because when you have the tax de depending on it, this means that the tax is going to make it higher. So if we are selling from 80 pounds with tax included, our percentage of change must be negative. OK. Does it make sense? Because if you have 80 pounds and you have an increase of that 80 pounds, this would be what? Plus. But if you have 80 pounds already and you want to find the original price of it, you must take it away. That's the whole idea. So if it is on sale for 80 pounds and you want to find initial value, what does it mean is that if it is 20 percent, you will have basically 0.8x must be equal to 80. Is that how we're going to approach to here? No, because you are trying to calculate it with the tax increase, which is positive. OK, this must be x multiplied by 1.2 must be increasing them. Because what did I tell just previously? If the tax is added, it is plus. If the tax is taken away, it is negative. It is not a decrease. It's an increase. Tax is always an increase. OK, in this case scenario. Because it is, you are always selling it. Your original value must be lower than your 
final value okay so this is an, an increase do not forget that so instead of 0 0.8 you're going to actually have 1.2 okay that's the most important thing 1.2x is going to be 8 let's just calculate this and then we're going to know about this thing just give me a minute we go to calculator 80 divided by 1.2 this is going to be x our original price must be 66.67 simple as that why because if we take 66.67 multiply it by 1.2 it will be again 80 so that's the whole idea because it's increasing it taxes increases okay so let's just go to our next question in our question is, is that after applying a 15 percentage discount at an item priced at 170 pounds okay after applying including vat value added tax what was the original price before discount and vat so how we can approach to it we're gonna have after applying a 15 pound percentage discount an item priced at 170 so basically your 0.85x is equal to 170 yeah, because you take away 15 and this is 170. Let's just calculate what the number is going to be. 170, yeah, divided by 0 0.85, it will be your X must be equal to 200 pounds. So before you take the actions, it must be 200 pounds. Okay, so your initial value was 200 pounds before the discount. Because why? We said you it's going to be X, yeah, 1 plus percentage of change. So in this case, your percentage of change is negative because it's a discount. So this must be minus 15 divided by 100. And that's how we are solving it. And since it does not provide you any other explanation saying like what is equal to this, what is equal to that, you cannot calculate the value added tax. Okay. So as a result of it, this is what the question is asking you. It is asking you to find the value of 200. That's it. Okay. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Let's go to our next question. It says you that a total amount paid for an item, including the value added tax, is 325 pounds. Okay, this is very important. This is again your what? Final value. Excellent, excellent. What is our VAT rate? Is 12.5 percentage. Okay, this is our rate. So this is going to be going to be what? percentage of change okay and since this is our percentage of change you take away the hundred you take away the you know the percentage part because we're gonna divide it by hundred later okay and then what was the original price before the VAT we're just gonna find it very easily so we know that we had x multiplied by 1 plus yeah 12.5 divided by 100 is gonna be equal to 325 okay so this means that we're gonna have one plus one zero point to two hundred and twenty five yeah so we have what basically we have one point one two five x must be equal to three two five yeah you just gonna divide this three two five divided by one point one two five because this twelve five x must be two hundred and eighty eight pounds that Eight nine cents. Eight nine cents. This is because you know what is always building up on our final price. So our initial value must be cheaper than that. That's the whole idea. Okay. We are always adding the tax on our calculation. So we are always following in that manner. That's the most important thing. Okay. So that's it. Yeah. You know. Up to this point, we always solve questions like initial. Your final value was given yeah initial value is asking but in this case scenarios you might in this case like in these lessons you might end up with a worded question that explains what is value added taxes it doesn't need to be named value added tax it can be named in a different way but they will do the same things okay so you just need to understand while we are reading the question what do you have and what you can find Okay, that's the most important thing. Do not try to memorize what you are, what you will be looking for. Try to approach in a way that it makes sense to you. Just make sure that it can be worded in a different way, but they will mean the same things. Okay, so that's the whole idea. You know, and if you want any, you know, private uh, tutoring, you can always find my link in the, you know, the uh, description given below. And, you know, I hope you enjoy this lesson. 
I, I hope that you're having a great day as well, my fellow students. So have a great day. Take care and have a great uh, morning, evening, or, you know, uh, morning, afternoon. Uh, like I would say, have, have a great afternoon. Take care.